good afternoon. It is about 12.30 and I figured I would do a special video. Not really special because apparently everybody does it. I shouldn't second guess myself. Whatever. Okay, so I'm going to do an, a little video that's I'm going to call Meet My Three Month Old. I know I've seen other vlogs do the vloggers do this, so I figured I would do one. So let me go grab him. Alright, okay, so Milo is actually about three and a half months, but he is, oh gosh, about 17 to 18 pounds, and I think 22 and a half or 23 inches long. He is a big boy. He is my biggest baby to date. He was born nine pounds, four, 14 ounces, and... I had him vaginally too, so he is, yeah, he's a big, big boy, and he continues to be a big boy. Um, so let's see, at three months, what are you doing, buddy? So he just recently started on a really good sleeping habit kick. So before, when he was in between two months and three months, um, he went about two weeks without sleeping at all. Or not, not sleeping at all, it's an overreaction, but he just was not sleeping at night. So he was born, he slept really good from the start, like from the get-go. He only woke up a few times at night. Um, and then he went into this habit of only waking up twice a night, and I was like, wow, this is perfect. I don't mind waking up two times at night um, to nurse. And yeah, then he went through waking up every hour, or every time I set him down. So that was fun, but he's back into the habit of he only wakes up about twice a night and it's, it's dreamy and he's not even swaddled anymore because we transitioned him out of his swaddle because obviously he's a big boy and none of the swaddles were really fitting him well. Like they were kind of tight or small on his legs and it kind of has you worried about, you know, hip dysplasia. So now when he sleeps... Oh. He just wears this sleep sack that I got from my second cousin and it's just like a fleece sleep sack because we kind of like it cold in the house but of course I don't want him to get cold so he stays all nice and bundled in that with his arms out and yeah he sleeps pretty good I'm, I'm really impressed um, what else he's he won't take a pacifier we have every single pacifier out there like I I bought I bought them ev from everyone I bought Tommy Tippy I bought Soothies I bought the man pacifiers which is the only thing my second daughter took I just I've, I've tried every single pacifier thinking you know this will help him get over his fussy fits but no he won't take he won't take any of them he's just I, and I've tried different techniques. He's never taken them, never liked them. So he won't take pacifier, but that's okay. Um, he's pretty good at not self-soothing, but like when he's upset, he'll suck on his hand. He won't, he's not a thumb sucker either. Uh, or he just, he wants to be picked up and cuddled. He is a huge cuddler at three months. Like, oh my gosh, he still wants to be kind of independent, but he's, he's pretty big on cuddling aren't you? Yeah. He nurses really well. He nurses about every two to three hours. He usually only nurses one side now. So he used to nurse both sides equally. Now he nurses about one side for maybe eight minutes, eight to ten minutes, and then he's done. Uh, he takes three to four naps a day. Uh, he either naps in my arms in the little rock and play, which is, I only let him sleep in this when I'm beside him. So that's his little rock and play because I know they were recalled for babies that can roll over and were getting um, suffocated. But yeah, I set him in there for his naps with the vibrations on when I'm here at my desk working. Um, that's the only time I feel comfortable doing it, and it keeps him at arm's reach, and usually those aren't very long naps anyway. It's just kind of like when he's sleepy. He gets his good naps, 
in his bed. And I'll turn on his sound machine because he uses the Hatch Nightlight and sound machine. Um, I'm sorry, I'm clocking out of work. I completely forgot to. There we go. Um, yeah, so he, do, he does pretty good naps. Sometimes they're short, sometimes they're long. He has good days, he has bad days. Oh, bless you. Bless you. He's got brown hair, brownish, and sometimes in the sun it looks red, but I think all of my babies have had red tinted hair. Uh, he definitely has the most hair so far out of all my babies. And he has no bald spots. And that's amazing since he sleeps so well, but I think when he sleeps, he moves his head around a lot. Um, what else? He is in nine month clothes. He just transitioned into all nine month clothes. Hi. Are you all done? No, I need to be important. I'm five and I want to show you something about the fence. About the fence? Mm -hmm. I want to show you. Okay, right now? Do you need to go finish your mouth homework first? Uh, see, Ellie did the page, but she said uh -huh. we have a parent for the page five. Uh -huh. Oh, I can't. Okay, all right, that's fine. Okay. I'll go look at the. the Alright, I'll go look at the fence in a second, okay? Okay. Can I grab the I guess. All right, that was my oldest daughter. Um, <laughs> back to Milo. So yeah, he's in nine month clothes and he is in size three diapers. No, he's in size two diapers. He's in size two diapers, but I bought two packs of threes last time I ordered from Hello Bello. So I kind of put him in those sometimes. Something interesting about Milo is he, and I think it happens to a lot of boys, according to my friends that I asked. So I guess not that many, I don't know. Um, but I never had a boy before. Uh, he has blowouts all the time. And I have tried multiple different diapers. I've tried sizing up. I haven't tried sizing down, that just sounds stupid. And he's got really chunky thighs. So like, I'm not gonna size down and squeeze his little thighs, right? No. Um, so yeah, I've tried all of those and he still, he just has blowouts at least like every other day. This morning he had three blowouts before 8 a.m. That was a lot. And ugh, it's just, it's something I think we just have to, you know, Milo just has blowouts. He, when he poops, it's like an atomic bomb of poop. It goes straight up his back. It's just... And that never happened with my girls, so it is something definitely unique to him. Um, kind of like the pacifier thing, huh? But he has no teeth yet, but he loves sucking on his fists, and he's super drooly. Like, you'll see, I keep having to take a swaddle cloth and wipe his drool away. He's got good head movement. He can, he's already mobile on the floor, so he'll kind of inchworm around. He'll kick off with his feet off the ground. And he can do a full 360. He can roll over from tummy to back and almost back to tummy. So, but I think it's just because he's so huge. <laughs> he's just big boy. So he's just, I think his muscles and stuff are just more developed than tinier babies. But yeah, that's our little three month old baby. A little, a little interview, right? Yeah. All right. So thank you for watching this video. If you're new here, please hit subscribe. I'm trying to build up my base. Um, I've got a pretty strong base on Instagram, but I do not have it on YouTube because I'm still new to it. So please hit subscribe. Um, you know, I'll try to do this more often, but I don't know how these working moms with kids also do YouTube because it feels impossible sometimes. So if you have any tips or tricks, please let me know. Follow us on Instagram. Uh, I'm not really on Facebook that much, so if you wanted to follow me there, all I do is share memes. But if that's what you like, I'm down with it. Uh, yeah, so thanks for watching.